So guys, I took you to the desert to show you A7C, a compact version of a full frame lineup of Sony cameras. And this is awesome because in my personal taste, this was always the best idea to give you as much as possible in a smallest form factor and lightest body possible. And this is in the first place why I back in a year switched from Canon 5D Mark III to mirrorless Sony system because I wanted to save kilograms. I was traveling around the world with all the lenses, you know, and, and it was really heavy. And this is it. This is the right direction that Sony took. So what are the most important features I just want to share with you right now? Because I spent some quality time with this camera and one of the features is one of those features known already from A7S3, uh, which is a record button on the top here. And you also have a fully articula articulating screen, which is so awesome for vlogging. And by the way, later I will show you how is it to vlog with this camera and from my test already, it is awesome. The other thing uh, maybe worth mentioning is just one SD slot. Um, we have to remember that uh, there are some, some, some things they had to sacrifice because of the form factor. And the most important thing is when you take off the lens, you have this huge full frame sensor here. Boom, look at that. And at the first glance, it looks like a, a, a PSC, a crop sensor but no, it's a full frame camera. Uh, the other thing that I really like they introduced is this digital audio interface. Um, well, this, this interface was already introduced in A7R4, so you don't need an analog signal to record sound anymore. This sound is recorded directly, digitally, to your recording which is awesome. Of course, you need a specific microphone from Sony. And I think that in one of the videos, I will definitely want to cover that. Uh, if you don't want to use this microphone, you of course have a, a jack here, a microphone jack. And what I like a lot is that both HDMI phones and USB-C port are like, you know, placed horizontally here. So when you are recording and you want to see yourself and using, for example, external power bank, which is possible so you can record forever, actually, you don't, it doesn't obscure your vision here. This is awesome. I don't know if this is something that happened by accident or did, is it like designed? But anyways, it, if you are recording 16 by nine, it won't obscure your vision. Awesome, thank you, Sony. It does use, oh, somebody's flying drone over here, <laughs> over the desert. It does use a Z battery, so-called Z battery, NPFZ100, which is a very capable battery. And later on in the conclusions, I will tell you how many pictures and how long can, re can it record on that battery. Uh, the other thing is that it has a classic Sony menu. Let me just present you with menu. There you go. So this is a classic horizontal menu, like you know from older, older, older cameras. And one of the things that to me is one of the key features here that this camera does have a color science of A7R4, which is awesome because it's a significantly improved, improved color science that is responsible for better skin tones. And just right now you can see on the screen a portraits with improved and enhanced skin tones and both in recording like in a video mode and in photo mode so those are some awesome things the other thing that i tested and you can see right now is a image stabilization it does have a 5 ev image stabilization which is which is awesome for this small form factor five axes it doesn't replace the gimbal for sure but you can get some stable shots. It, this one is shot in some extreme situations. I'm going down the mountain with my friend Christoph, and, and look at that. It's, it's, it's not maybe stable, but it is definitely stabilized, so you can kind of use it. 
but image stabilization seems to me at least good enough for vlogging and you can take a look at it right now I'm I will be walking with this camera and talking to you about it and it is stable and it keeps the focus in the right place take a look at that to vlog with this camera I'm using this flip out screen with eye focus priority uh, and it does some tracking here I'm having my um, I'm having image stabilization on and I'm walking to show you if the image is stable or not. I will see the result later, I don't know myself, but it seems to be doing pretty good job and I'm not using any external microphone, only the built-in one that, is, that this camera is equipped with. Uh, on the right side, I have the flip out screen that I can see my face if I'm still framing myself or not. And this is pretty much it. I hope it does the job it seems to be a very good vlogging tool specifically if you add this sony super directional uh, digital audio interface uh, microphone to it this should be an, an ultimate at least for now vlogging tool so as you could see it's only joby's tripod or whatever tripod you want to use without gimbal and it's good enough for vlogging and the audio used in this, in this recording is straight from the camera. No external microphone was used. So again, nice job, Sony, good job. And one of the things you want to take a look uh, at is dynamic range. Uh, this camera boasts with, as far as I remember, is it 14 stops? I think 14, 14 stops. I will check it later in the specs, but I think 14 stops and take a look at this file. It is, it is really good. It is like small body and you get a professional, professional looking images. I, uh, I cannot expect any more, anything more like 24 megapixels. It's awesome. For me as a stock, stock videographer, stock photographer, this is totally enough. And everything once again in such a small and nice looking body. It does have a touch screen to, um, to manipulate with uh, autofocus. However, it's not a fully operational touch screen. So you cannot, you know, touch on the menu here. It will do nothing. However, the autofocus system is improved here and you have five degrees or five, I don't know, like uh, settings of autofocus response time from this very fast to very slow cinematic response time and you can use it with your finger which is awesome and you can see the video right now Soon I will show you like the low uh, light uh, performance of this camera. Okay, ergonomically, this camera is, or generally the Sony lineup is improving and improving. I already mentioned this big record button that is great for vloggers and you don't have to search for it. You know, you can, you can see it clearly, it's, it's a red record button. Uh, the other thing that is awesome, what I noticed uh, is different from other Sony cameras, that when you press this medium butter, because very important, it doesn't have a joystick. I love joysticks, but the solution here is pretty nice. So you press the middle button here, the central one, and then you use this dial button as joystick. And it will stay like that until you press the middle button again. So it doesn't come back to, uh, you know, to this like non-adjustable mode until you ask it to do it. So this is awesome, you see, and it's back. Then you click again and you can use autofocus system again. 
This is awesome and this is something different than I know from uh, crop sensor cameras. The other change here is that there's only one dial button here to change either f-stop or to change, oh, you can see, you see, there's no front one. I mean, I do regret there's no, there's no, there's no two dial buttons here. However, it's, this camera is so well designed that it's okay to operate everything from this and that guy here. So it, it pretty much does the job. Despite the size, there's still a uh, viewfinder here. It's of course far from A7S III or, you know, um, it, it's, it's not awesome, it's not great, but it is here and it is really enough to frame it right and to work for example, in very, very bright conditions, you can always use it like that. And I'm looking at you right now here, and I see it pretty nicely. It's, it's not a um, super high resolution, huge picture in this, uh, in this viewfinder, but it is definitely usable. It does support S-Log3, it does support HDR mode. It's HLG, I think. This is what they call it in Sony. So it's, it's extended, extended dynamic range and the profile standard profile from the camera is also very good and you can definitely see that the color science here is improved i had a chance to take a look at some of the recordings already and i enjoy them they are really nice so um some conclusions some first thoughts do i enjoy this camera oh yes i do i initially thought that this camera would be a poor man's full frame camera the price tag is not that low though so you have to you have to adjust you have to adjust your thinking because there, there were some rumors that it was supposed to be a cheap full frame camera with with like very little specs or you know like uh, under spec even i could say but it does have 4k in 8 bit in 60 frames per second it does support 120 frames per second slow motion in full hd that you can see right now some nice samples here and what i can say it is it could be actually a replacement of a7 III but definitely the target for this camera is the, the for for the owners of this camera future owners of this camera is people that want to have a very good quality out of a of a small body according to my knowledge and some reliable sources this camera at least for now for the day of recording is the most lightweight full frame image stabilized camera on the market the only other camera that is as light and even smaller than this one is sigma ft however sigma is not equipped with five axis image stabilization so this factor adds more even more value to this uh, camera and to this camera purchase. And as we are talking about purchase, I didn't tell you about the price. I think this is something around $2,000, which is not that great as I thought it would be, honestly. However, however, um, there were some rumors that this camera is supposed to be a poor man's full frame camera, which is not exactly true is just a small camera but it does have some advantages over a7 mark III, and they used 8-bit recording to save this camera from overheating there's no recording limit so both in 4k and full hd you can record theoretically forever with a use of power bank that you can plug in uh, or maybe even like just a normal charger that you can plug in and you can record hours and hours and um, yeah, that makes this camera really, really good. And to me, I was looking for a second camera to my camera bag. For example, when I shoot weddings and I want uh, to have uh, one camera set for the video, one camera set for the photo, I shoot mostly with my wife and I'm a video guy in this case. I think that this will be my to-go camera as a gimbal camera. And I do think that Sony made a very good decision to introduce this specific 7C compact model because there's a huge demand among travelers or videographers for a light but very capable camera. And this Sony A7C definitely checks all the boxes. 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys uh, have, will have some questions in comments. We did some awesome tests of this camera. Uh, we, we, we have some conclusions here. And please don't forget to leave comments. If you liked it, leave thumbs up, smash this you know, subscribe button. And of course, I see you guys in the next episode.